naming ionic compounds. Naming ionic compounds, uh, first we're going to have the cation first and the anion second. If it's a monatomic cation, it's going to retain its name. So if we're talking about, say, the calcium ion, its name is calcium. Our monatomic anions, remember, we're going to use that suffix I-D-E. So if we have fluorine, we're going to keep the root fluor and add IDE, making it fluoride. If we have oxygen, this one is slightly different. We're just going to keep the OX, place everything at the end, and make it oxide. So here, fairly simple, looking at this, this ion is magnesium, so the first part of our name is magnesium. F is fluorine, but remember we're dropping the I and E, so this is magnesium fluoride. In our example at the bottom, calcium will keep its name, so calcium, this is oxygen, so we're going to keep the OX, but make it oxide. If we have metals with multiple oxidation states, mostly this is going to occur within our transition metals. When we look at this, we see that it's iron, but it can be iron 2 or it can be iron 3. So we're going to need to distinguish. In order to distinguish, we're going to need to do a little bit of work. We're going to need to take into account the total negative charge. When we look at FeCl2, chlorine, a chloride ion, has a charge of negative 1. There are two chloride ions. That means that there is a total negative charge of negative 2. This means that our total positive charge has to be positive 2. Iron 2 has a total positive charge of positive 2, so iron 2 chloride. Let's look at another example, PBO. So again, we're going to need to look at the total negative charge. Oxygen has a charge of negative, the oxide ion has a charge of negative 2, and there's only one of them. So the total negative charge is negative 2. Our total positive charge needs to be equal, so our total positive charge needs to be positive 2. On the back of our periodic table, we see that lead 2 has a positive 2 charge, so this is lead 2 oxide. If we look at this element, if we look at this compound, again, the total negative charge, an oxide ion has a charge of negative 2, and there's two of them. That means that the total negative charge is negative 4. So that means that the total positive charge has to be positive 4. On the back of our periodic table, we see that lead 4 has a charge of positive 4. So this compound is lead 4 oxide. Pause the video lecture here and practice